Hello everybody and welcome to One Player Today on the Table. Well, this is about the worst Kickstarter preview video that there's ever been because the Kickstarter for this game is now over. But I still wanted to feature it on the channel because I've been having a lot of fun with it over the past couple of weeks. The print and play like little demo is still available, so you can go pick this up. Um, and I'm gonna leave a link to the uh, the website down in the description um, because you can go and sign up for the newsletter to uh, be an, uh, to be told when this game comes out. I think it's going to be available in retail in March of 2021, so a couple of months away for now, but lots of solo challenges to be getting on with. And this is just a little kind of card laying puzzle game. Um, nice and cute and fun, and I thought I'd just have a quick whirl on camera. Before I do get started though, make sure that you have gone down into the description, click the link for the Discord invite, and go join the one-player Discord. You will not regret it. There is a wonderful community forming of solo board gaming loveliness over there. Um, come and chat, um, share your playthroughs, share your recommendations, and uh, and yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a wonderful time. Come and, uh, come and join us, and I would love to have you. Let's get going. So the aim of the game is to make specific patterns. Now on each card there is a, a goal or a challenge um, to make various, you know, at least 11 cranes visible in total, uh, for example. And the solo challenges give us um, which cards we need to meet the challenges of at once. So for example, in the easy level here, um, I'll go for level, let's say I'll go for level three um, just to play. We've got challenge two, challenge seven, and challenge 10. So let me go find them. That's challenge 10. Oh, well, that's the 11 cranes. That was kind of uh, fortuitous, um, given that I literally just gave that as an example. Um, level two and level seven is what I'm looking for. That's seven, and this is two. So we're going to set these aside. So what we need to do is have at least 11 cranes visible in total, completely fill the six by six grid, and a diagonal line of four acorns. So we're going to set these aside. Um, I'm going to put them, no, you can't see that. I'll just put them over here. Um, so you've got maybe kind of a, a little record, even if the, the font's quite small, but uh, you know, there you go. And we're gonna build a six by six grid of these squares here using these um, other cards. I think there's, my writing thing is 18, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I think there's 18. All right, so we've got a deck over here and we're gonna start pulling. So let's, um, we'll pull the first card and we'll just set it up. So we need a, a line of four acorns diagonally. So we want the acorn to probably be starting somewhere up here. We wanna make sure there's 11 cranes visible as well. Um, so the more cranes, the better. Um, I could do that, although, oh wait, I'll do this. That works better because then I've got, I do have a diagonal line that way. And I'm going to not cover up that crane. Um, and now my grid is four by. Oh, that's not going to be good because I'm going to have to cover that up. What about if I do this? Yeah, yeah, that that seems half decent. Um, and see, this will get me my that would get me my line of acorns, but it would cover up a crane, which I'm not keen on doing because I want the most cranes possible, please. Um, I'll, I'll just form it down here and we'll uh, we'll just start building it out, shall we? Here is, an, is that going to give me a six by six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is. All right, so that's six down here. This is going to be six across. We've got a line of four acorns. Now we just need to concentrate on cranes. So this should be pretty, this should be pretty easy, I think. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just need one more crane on the board. And we can obviously, we can start stacking cards on top of one another when we get to the place where we have met the level objective. So, for example, like right here, I think now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cranes. And, uh, and that should do us. And now we're going to have to keep pulling cards, but we can, like I said, just keep putting them on top of one another. Um, I can afford to cover that crane, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I've still got twelve. So I can keep I can afford to keep covering this these cranes um, with no problem. Um, I can do that to cover that one crane to replace it, and then I've got two cranes at the end. 
bang. So now I've got four acorns across, and I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cranes smashed the goal out of the park. And that's level two. So, oh wait, no, level three. So not bad. Um, easy. It was easy. So let's go on to something a little more challenging. All right, this is medium challenge number nine. And this is a vertical or horizontal line of four flowers, 10 of the same symbol connected orthogonally, and 15, a vertical or horizontal line of six butterflies. So four flowers, six butterflies, and a bunch of stuff touching. Let's see what we can do. Um, I want a vertical or a horizontal line of six butterflies. So, I mean, I think butterflies might be a decent shout to try and get ten of them all together if I can. Because, I mean, that's going to, that's obviously going to help, isn't it? Um, can I do that? Yes, I can do that. And that's going to give me three flowers already. Um, those butterflies aren't super helpful. Well, I suppose I could start butterflies this way, though. One, two, three. And then I could have butterflies and flowers right there. Uh, it's a bit risky, though, because... Hmm. Let's start building this... I'll start building this down here. This one might get me. I'm actually not feeling very confident about this one. <laughs> uh, I can put that there, can't I? And that way I've got four butterflies in a row. I need some more flowers, though. Four flowers. And I've got four butterflies. I need, I need more butterflies. And... I need, actually, now I've set myself up to have, I need two butterflies on the end, which I'm not sure if any cards actually have, so that maybe was not a good tactic. All right, we're going we're gonna to keep at it. Mm, let's see, I'm going to put this here while I have cranes as a backup, because now we've got six cranes touching. Aha! There we go, perfect. Um, so now I've got six, I've got four flowers and six butterflies, so now I just need to make sure that I've got ten butterflies touching, which... I hope isn't going to be too difficult. I've already got six, seven, eight. I just need two more. Ah, well, there you go. Bing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And four flowers. Lovely, jubbly. Let's see if we can get some more butterflies touching. Which, oh yeah, that's eleven. And we don't need to fill out the actual full grid this time, so that's nice. Um, but we can do this, and we can do... What about another butterfly? Why not? So we've got four flowers in a vertical, or sorry, in a vertical line, in a horizontal line, and we have a vertical or horizontal line of six butterflies, and we've got ten butterflies touching orthogonally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Lovely, love it. Let's do one more. Right, this is level fifteen, one of the later hard levels, and we've got ten of the same symbol connected orthogonally. A 6x6 six six grid complete with more flowers around the perimeter than any other symbol. We need a 6x6 six six grid complete and no cranes on the perimeter. Gosh, that, that seems quite difficult to do. And 15, a vertical or horizontal line of 6 butterflies again. So we've got the same two as we did last time, but then two more, which are going to make it somewhat difficult, I think. No cranes on the perimeter. Um, a line of 6 butterflies. No cranes, line of six butterflies, ten of the symbols. Gosh, I'm gonna have to. Re this is gonna be. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is gonna be tricky to remember, isn't it? Um, and I was gonna put this in the corner, but then I realised that if I did, I'd have six butterflies on the perimeter, and that wouldn't be good. But then I also don't want cranes on the corner because I don't want them on the perimeter at all. I'm gonna kind of put this in the middle, and uh, and go from there. Um, lots of cranes, so that's not perfect, is it? Um, and there's no way I can link up these butterflies, so I'm just going to do this. More flowers on the perimeter than any other symbol. Um, okay, 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 okay. More flowers on the perimeter than any other symbol. So like this, three, four, five. But now I've got to get rid of this. No, I don't like that. I'll do this. 
Now I've got two flowers on the perimeter, two butterflies though, but I've got a crane as well I need to take care of. This is a nice card for the line of butterflies for sure. So that's going to go there. And I've still got to plan for and I've still got to plan for having 10 touching, which seems tricky at this point. I suppose this could be that 10 the butterflies again kind of double up. I got to get rid of this crane. Again, I've left myself needing two butterflies to complete the line. Um, and this butterfly can go here, I guess, to touch. That's a lot of flowers. So I'd prefer if I could do something like this. That's a lot of flowers, isn't it? What about this? It's not going to help my butterfly. It's going to help my butterflies, but it will help flowers. I've got to cover up that crane. <laughs> this is actually quite tricky. Ah, that's rubbish. I, I, I don't want a crane. I'm going to have to put this here and just hope that I can do something with it. Like that. I have to cover it up with something else. Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do this because then I can keep that flower in the corner and then cover it up here. With butterflies, lovely, look at that. We've got six butterflies in a row, and then one, two, three, four, five, s wait, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, perfect, okay. So we've got enough butterflies now. Now we just need to make sure we've got no cranes on the outside and more flowers than anything else. So that can go there, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight flowers. That's definitely more than anything else. We've got to get rid of this crane. Lovely, I love that. I love what you're doing. And we've got a last card. Ah, oh, beautiful. Three flowers on the outside. So I've, I've, I think I've done it. Ten symbols connected orthogonally. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six by six grid complete, which I believe it is. More flowers around the perimeter than anything else. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. And a vertical line of or a vertical or horizontal line of six butterflies. Right there. Beautiful. Love it. What a fun little puzzle. I've been I've been having a I've been having a nice time with this. It's very I mean it's very quick, obviously you can tell that each level takes like five or ten minutes. Uh, or yeah, five minutes maybe. Um but yeah, and then there's lots of, there's, lo there's what, 20 challenges, and I think there's more in the actual full game. So, yeah, go check out the link below. Um, I'll leave a link to the game website where you can sign up, like I said, for the newsletter and um, and be notified when it comes out. Go print the play, uh, go print out your copy of the print and play and uh, give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Let me know on the Discord how you get on. Um, come and visit us and tell us how you like Yukayo. That is going to be it from me. Do feel free to drop a like if you like and subscribe to the channel if you are new for more solo board gaming content every week thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you later